with training camp coming to an end, young Philadelphia Eagle players, Kobe Dean, Jordan Davis, Nolan Smith, Jalen Carter, and Khalid Ringo reflect on their college days as teammates. Life in Philadelphia, training camp, preseason, and what to expect this upcoming season. Huge shout out to the Philadelphia Eagles for giving us such great insight on our beloved Philadelphia Eagles and updates on our favorite players. Jalen Hurts has been having an extremely eventful offseason, signing with Jordan, endorsement deals from Hulu, and being on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Last but not least, we have a preview of Jason Kelsey's upcoming documentary. Now, this was a bit bizarre because it was filmed during the Philadelphia Eagles Super Bowl run last season. We had no idea this was in the works. All that and more coming up. I'm up and next. This is the Voice of the Eagles show. And like always, God bless those Philadelphia Eagles. You eat, yeah. you eat your bread with a, a knife and fork? You trying to put it on for the camera. It's crazy. Oh, bro. It's crazy. I just don't want to get all garlic over my hands. I don't want to get garlic over my hands. You don't want to get garlic all over your hands. Nah, bro. Man, after being drafted after all those guys, it, it definitely felt like it was going to be like home. And, and that's exactly what it was. You know, and it was a great feeling overall, man. Um, I just knew I was going to be able to get comfortable fast and just be able to lean on those guys and just, um, man, be sponges to the other guys as well, of course, because I, I basically have a family already here. And as my family continues to grow, um, as I get to know more people here. Man, I'd say that first memory when the stadium lights really hit, and y'all don't remember like when it just went completely dark and everybody was just silent. Fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. And then, and then the red lights came on. That Damn. was Notre Dame game. Well, again, yeah. That was our first home game. Me and Nolan's first home game. First big home game. It was crazy. I was like, is this going to be every night home game? And I remember I couldn't hear nothing. I think I went to the Notre Dame game but on a visit, though. Imagine that but at night, Arkansas. Arkansas 12 o'clock. And it was, was a lit. close game. Arkansas was lit. We broke the decimal level yeah, yeah. at yeah. Arkansas at 12 o'clock. I couldn't even speak. I, like, I didn't even try to talk to nobody. We didn't have to speak. It was all hand signals. It was all hand signals. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were all great friends going through Georgia. It was just, um, you know, as we go along, we go through the ground, we all get closer. Um, you know, we hang out all the time and we always talk about how the older guys do it for them, but just to have them and how much their presence and their energy does for us and just to have another piece of the puzzle here in Philadelphia. It's definitely a brotherhood, no hierarchy, none of that. Let's start off with uh, Jaden and Keely. I've seen them mature from first coming in as a freshman at University of Georgia to, to where they are now, being rookies in the NFL. So I've seen them mature from young men to, to growing men. So it's like seeing that change and be able to, you know, live out a part of that dream. It's a nice moment to be able to experience that with him. JD, when we first got to Philly, uh, on our, like our off days, like Fridays and Saturdays, he'd be like, you just want to go ride around? But we would drive around for like three hours. <laughs> Doing nothing. He said he just want to be outside the house. He said he just want to be outside the house, just doing he something. He talking about cruising. The first hey. couple times we're good. I'm like, all right, JD, you got to take me home now. He keeping you hostage. The Kobe got some stories he could tell, wise beyond his years. And it's just funny because, um, you know, he sounds like an uncle. And uh, when he talks to us and he tells us stories and he tells us what he's been through and, you know, you got that, that twang, that Southern twang to him and that Mississippi draw. So it's just funny to hear him speak about his experiences. When we first got to Georgia, y'all know me and Nolan, roommate, right? 214, Vanderbilt yeah, yeah, yeah. Hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vanderbilt? Yeah, yeah. I, I was in Vanderbilt yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. We was right by the middle. Y'all door unlocked and I used to walk in. Yeah, yeah we, we used to like, always <laughs> leave our door unlocked. Door unlocked. Everybody just walk in on their way back to the That's what room. I miss, man. That's what I miss, bro. Just walk, bro. You could just walk, walk in. Walk in on somebody. They always say I got an old spirit. I don't know why. Probably because I always try to, anytime they ask me for any type of advice or anything, I kind of just tell them. And they say I just sound like a, a old head, so to speak. I don't think so, but. We all had like a good squad, but of course everybody got their own little people to hang out with. Cause everybody like different things. Like I don't got a game system, so I don't play the game. 
So I was, I couldn't connect with the guys from, we talking about Call of Duty. I don't know nothing about Call of Duty. I know about um, the viscosity of water. <laughs> The Kobe Dean, man, um, I definitely say he's he's one of the smartest people I know um, out of my entire life, for sure. One of those guys that, that wants to bring the best out of you and, and want to continue to help you learn um, no matter what it is, so. I made a list of things I wanted to do when I got to college, right? I did everything I wanted to do but graduate and win an SEC championship. That's the only thing I ain't do. And I'm going to graduate eventually. You gonna get, yeah, I was about to say, you get one of them. Yeah, I'm gonna get one. I can't, I can't, can't go I can't, I can't go back and win the SZ unless I become a coach. The year apart that we spent, me and Kobe, we knew that somebody had to pick up the reins and take control of that team. So just to see Jalen, see Nolan, see Keeley be the respective leaders of the positions and lead them boys to another national championship, um, that's two back to back. But just to even be on this team and get drafted by the Eagles, man, it's like, a crazy experience just to see them grow and then we're still seeing them develop and we're developing ourselves. I mean, you know, um, everybody's growing no matter how old you are, how young you are. That's what I meant to ask you. I wanted to ask you about the joint practices. You know, we don't do that in college. Yeah. We have scrimmages though, but do joint practices apparently supposed to be? You know, joint practice is just another opportunity to hit somebody else. Hell and yeah. then uh, just see how you compare against, you know, like NFL lineman for the show actually comes. So. It's just like, uh, you know, you're just going against a, you know, iron sharpened line. Man, F word, all that. That's <laughs> lit, Dolan. You know, you know, when we was in college, you know, you wanted to practice against another team, but you can knock this out. You got tired of knocking this out of each other in sure. practice. That's what I'm ready That's why I like it. I, could, I was able to let loose a little bit more when we got to. Um, and hit somebody else. I know, especially exactly. that linebacker got, trying to fight the old lineman and then hit the. It's hit like, back. you're going to be more like season like as far as being able to speed up a little bit more. And then you're going to see how you match up. Yeah, match up against other NFL guys on different teams. Yeah, yeah. So, preseason game, they finna start. Bleeding into the season. And then before you know it, it's going to be like week 12. And then before you know it, it's going to be like week 18. And you like, dang. You know, God willing, go to the playoffs. You got like five more games you want to play. So it's a grind. But sure, that's what we signed up for. You know, what's the biggest difference between like the league and, and it being at Georgia? I say the first big difference, you know, a lot of everybody good. When I say by like everybody good, man, the linemen good, they got good feet, good hands, they play the mind game with you too. And just you learn so much and the game a little bit more up tempo. That's what I say. It didn't move fast now. It'll slow down when the season starts, you get some snap. I feel like they're so much more technical, bro. Like, everybody big and fast in college. I'm gonna say the preparation. Preparation? For, the, for getting ready for the season, you know. I worked in the summer, I worked at a little gym. That was my first time really working at a little gym like that. And I was working by myself. I ain't had like multiple people with me. So it felt kind of weird. Right. But at the end of the day, I knew I was working, getting ready for the uh, season. Straight Pilates. He said straight Pilates. Straight Pilates. Calisthenics. Calisthenics. More maintenance. I would talk about Philly. How y'all been liking it? I like Philly. It's been beautiful weather outside. So far. Yeah. Wait till it get cold. <laughs> he said so far. Like, wait till it get cold. You know, you know the show where it was like always sunny in Philadelphia. I ain't even. I gotta watch. It. It's I, always, never watch it's it. I, I never watch. I never watch. I think it's watch. beautiful. I, I never watch. It's nice. You can eat outside. But you, after you know. after a certain time, after a certain time when it hit like probably like mid October, when it started getting cold, bundle up. What's this? Huh? Oh. Wait. Has your name always been Hulu Has Live Sports? I guess so. New name, same man. Meet Jalen, Hulu has live sports. It's on me. Oh, I got gotcha. y'all. <laughs> yes, sir. Hulu Plus Live TV, your favorite place to watch live TV. My ODs before I pull up to the stadium. We're listening to a lot of slick rip. Keep God first. She's a rock in my heart. She's always encouraging. That's my girl. Anything I'm able to watch, who long? Want me to wink? Philly cheesesteak or Texas barbecue? My mama's barbecue. Mama's barbecue or Oklahoma Smash Burger? 
My mama's barbecue. <laughs> mama's barbecue or southern fried chicken? My mama's barbecue. Mama's barbecue or Waffle House? My mama's barbecue. And mama's barbecue or Wawa? My mama's barbecue. Imagine if you would have quit. What if you didn't have a purpose? What if you never took flight? As soon as you stepped on the field, we knew you was a breed of one. Born for the storm, built to overcome. No matter how steep the mountain was to climb, you found a way to rise. Faith is what make you fearless. Believe in what others can't see. This is just the beginning. Welcome to the fam. The second time in four seasons, the Lombardi Trophy has a red and gold reflection. I think for us, it was a huge learning experience playing in the Super Bowl in Arizona. Obviously, it, it personally left a fire burning for me for more and, and to finish. But it's a day by day thing now, having a new team, having a new group of guys and really just at the point now where we're searching for our own identity as a new football team. I reiterate, you know, anything that we've done in the past will not guarantee any new success. Will we be able to take valuable experiences away and use those as formative experiences? Sure, but it's a new team, it's a new time, and uh, we're embracing that. I think the city of Philadelphia is a great place. It's a great support system and fan base, you know, and. For a guy like myself, I pride myself on, you know, just giving everything that I have. I'm um, preparing to do that. You don't just show up and do that. It takes great preparation. They hungry, but I don't think anybody's as hungry as me. So enjoy the ride. I pride myself on, you know, just giving everything that I have. I'm preparing to do that. You don't just show up and do that. It takes great preparation. They hungry, but I don't think anybody's as hungry as me. Being on the cover of SI goes back to my childhood and seeing all the great athletes on the cover. A lot of athletes that I've watched for my whole entire life that I've looked up to and had a lot of admiration for. So to be that a figure for the next generation coming into this time, this season, it's, it's, it's an exciting thing. I put a couple of different professional athletes on my wall as a kid and I have a, a very meaningful wall back home in my room and I tell my mom never to take it down because I know it'll be beautiful in the end when it's all said and done. Um, I've had Bryce Harper, who's a guy in the city, when I had baseball dreams, you know, he was a guy that I always followed and had a lot of respect for. Cam Newton, Mike Vick, McNabb, you know, Johnny Manziel, Pat P, all these guys were on the cover. And a lot of them I've been able to compete against now. So it's, it's been a journey. I know it's a, it's a steep price you have to pay to have the opportunities. I'm talking about the work you put in and the determination you have and the character you have to have, buoyancy you have to have, all of those things. I think music, it's, it's such a beautiful thing because it's fitting for every different emotion you can experience as a person. So I like my oldies. I like, you know, the, the 80s vibe, 90s vibe. I like the new stuff. Um, just trying to keep it diverse. It depends on how I'm feeling, though. Anytime I listen to Al Green, Frankie Beverly and Mays or the Osley Brothers, anything that's kind of like that with a family vibe, that, that makes me think of my dad and my mom. Anything 80s hip hop, 90s hip hop, a lot of those characteristics come from my parents. AJ, like, uh, you listen to Rod Wave. He don't like young, but he like Jeezy. He like young Jeezy. Anytime we work out, that's what he need to hear. Everything by Jeezy. Sirianni, he liked the, he liked the 80s vibe. He likes uh, he liked Janet Jackson, Tupac, Slick Rick. He likes that. So Lane Johnson, anytime he walk by my locker and I'm playing Slim Thug or uh, PMC, UGK or something like that, Paul Wall, oh, he, he gonna walk by and sing the lyrics. <laughs> so I know he's always feeling that. <laughs> that's what's up. I don't, you know, look, people be trying to surprise me. They don't really get much most of the time, but this is nice. So what is a uh, Hotel California? Oh, the Eagles, the band. Yeah. Hmm. See, I don't go back, I don't go back there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Coach Saban, I think, like the Eagles. That's what's up. Hurts takes the snap. He's back, he's gonna run. He's in! Touchdown, Jalen Hurts! Jalen Hurts what on the quarterback draw scores, and the Eagles can take the lead with the extra point. It takes a lot of hard work, you know, it didn't happen overnight. None of this did. Important thing is to stand true to your purpose, blocking out everybody else's opinion, because it doesn't matter. Everybody in their opinions don't deposit at the bank. I know for me, you know, everybody has goals and dreams and everybody wants to accomplish special things, but 
the most important thing is, is the work and the preparation that you put in and staying diligent throughout it because there will be uh, rainy days that sprout into sunny days. So they, they come together, they couple together. Can y'all feel that? Can you feel what's about to happen on this field, man? Can you feel what we're about to get into? They don't respect us. They don't know what I heard, man. That thing is beating your dog on chest right now. Whatever you got today, I got to have it.